This video will demonstrate how to inspect and repair a Febco 765 pressure vacuum breaker. This video is not intended to replace published installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Please refer to the installation instructions for further information and product warnings. Consult local codes before beginning any work. The valve includes a brass body, inlet and outlet shutoff valves, two test cocks, and a canopy. Under the canopy, you'll find a bonnet assembly, poppet assembly, retainer, spring, and check assembly. Before starting your repair, check with local code authorities for any restrictions on the service or maintenance of your pressure vacuum breaker. Start by closing the inlet and outlet shutoff. Bleed pressure from the number one and number two test cocks. Water will drain from the valve as you bleed pressure. Take proper precautions. Using a wrench, loosen the canopy nut, unscrew and remove the canopy. Unscrew the bonnet assembly. and remove the poppet assembly. Press down on the retainer and rotate to remove the spring load. Remove the retainer, the spring, and the check assembly. Inspect the interior of your pressure vacuum breaker for damage to the check seat. Inspect the individual components for dirt, damage, or embedded debris. Closely inspect the bonnet assembly, bonnet o-ring, and poppet assembly for damage. In many cases, these components are the most likely to be replaced during a maintenance procedure. Inspect the canopy, the retainer, the spring, and the check assembly. Unscrew the check assembly to better inspect the rubber for damage or embedded debris. Replace any damaged parts. Repair kit ordering information is available at febcoonline.com. Let's rebuild the valve. Start by replacing the check assembly, making sure the fins are properly seated in the valve. Replace the spring, followed by the retainer. Press down and rotate until the retainer locks in place. Replace the poppet assembly and screw the bonnet assembly in by hand. Replace the canopy and tighten the nut just until the canopy cannot rotate. To restart the system, with the test cocks closed, open the inlet halfway until water flows from the canopy, then quickly fully open the inlet ball valve to re-engage the vacuum breaker. Test the system and check with local code authorities before opening the outlet. For more information, head to febcoonline.com.